we're going to be, uh, what are we, uh, 98, oops, sorry, I'm writing the wrong way, to 102. Now, if you buy an MAOP set of drivers, we take that a stage further. When they get down here, they are physically taken off the line one by one and go into an anechoic chamber, which is quite a long test. So, you know, it's a, it's a sweep test and we have to do, it's a lot of testing. They so, do those tests immediately, Mark, or are those drivers run in, or are they done warm, or are they done at a particular level, or because obviously you know all of those right. things all affect. They do. They are done uh, once the once all the usually about s within a day of final production because we want to let the glue dry, everything has to dry. Uh, so we do the when they they're not they're not running, in the, they're in their raw state because. The reason for that is that um, once we test them and we get a batch of drivers, you know, there's a batch of six, uh, maybe that has an FO of, uh, that one has an FO of 70, oops, 70, that one's a 71, that one's a 71, that one's a 70, and that's a 72, and that's a 72. Okay, well that pair's matched. That pair's matched and that pair's matched. And then actually as they're running by the customers and gradually bedded in, providing they, they're using the same amp and the same box set, they'll run in identically. They're, they're, they'll, after 100 hours, if you re-measured them, they'll be within, they'll be within plus minus, uh, usually 0.5%, really close half a hertz of each other, FO, really close. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's fair to say we're, we're, we're well noted for that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, people, there's, there's you know. The, there's the sort of the Holy Trinity generally of the Scandinavian manufacturers, C's, Scandinavian. Similar, yeah, um, they're pretty good. Those, those guys, they're, they're good. on sort of minus three, minus three, five, three or four, like five percent. They're very, very yeah. tight. They're, they're Mark tight. Audio is another Super of their song. Yeah. So, top five brands on. I think we, we, we are recognised as being sort of very anal about that. Yeah, in the old days, they used yeah. to say it was magnet strength that was about the loosest tolerance. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Like yeah. Tools. I mean, what's in? It's a very good point you draw because what's interesting is that when you look at a Mark Audio driver, um, Pro Drive again, it's actually every single component you see is custom made. The tooling. The design. This is not an off-the-shelf component. That frame, or chassis, as I like to call it, the motor system, even the uh, the connectors are in-house. Apart from one item, which of you've guessed, actually, is the magnet. China are superb makers of ceramic magnets. Alnico also. They just got really good at it. And they're noted around the world, not just for transducer production, but anywhere you need a magnet. I, chances are even Tesla get their magnets from China, probably. I don't know. So they're, they're induction machines. Oh, they're induction. So, but everyone else is. They're going to be using magnet magnets Chinese. in other forms. I know, magnetic locks or whatever. But somewhere on their car, in some form, chances are where magnets are used they're sourced from china china are very very good the top all the raw materials exactly yeah yep. <laughs> yes yes um when neo uh, there was a bit of a fracas over neo a few years ago because china sort of squeezed the uh, supply of a certain component for making the adenium magnets and the um price shot up and it got a little bit hairy but i'll go into that japanese are a bit pissed about that but um but that that ceramic magnet there Oh, this might be of interest to you guys, actually. Um, I, I hope. Um, you have to tell me I'm boring your pants off you, for Christ's sake, and then I'll think of a few more crap jokes. Um, magnets are graded. It's very, very interesting, this. Because you think a magnet, it's a magnet. Oh, no, no, it's not. No, 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 no. The Chinese specification for s solid ceramics go in what we call the Y specification. Y. At the one end, you've got Y, 10, and Y15 right up to Y35. Okay, you're a, you're a, you're a, um, 
you're a factory knocking out thousands of drivers a week, Y10 and 15 are the cheapest grade ceramics. They have the biggest tolerance variations. Quality of the actual material is lower and you save money. We never ever go, Y35 is pretty much the highest. We never ever go below Y30, Y30 ever. Um, I think uh, YF30 we use in the Alpair 12. That's nearly everyone will use YF35 top grade. Same reason. When we get when we when, when we get to this point on the production line, the test area, you know, the last thing we want is one driver. At the resonance frequency on this frequency on a plural is about 44 in free air. It's a real pain in the bum when you get one at 40 and then I want 48. Uh, the dealers hate it, you guys hate it because you know it's the, the drivers are not close matched. And then, then, then you know, the, the packing line people are busy trying to think, oh, well, we'll pack that batch, you know, that's a 44 batch and this is a 46 batch, and it's, it's just headache, headache, headache. Just buy a good magnet and be done with it. To be honest. Now you see other driver manufacturers won't tell you that. If you go and ask any of them, they'll never, I mean, I, I don't want to, probably want to, probably doesn't matter now given my situation, so I can say it. You know, um, I think I'm going to finish here and then, and then really open it up uh, and hope I've given you a bit of an insight into drivers. Mm -hmm. And how they work, and how four inch drivers work, and how my audio driver works. I'll leave you with this one final thing because I'm sure I've been talking for too long. <laughs> um, fact, rumor, and myth, <coughs> and, and, a, and a scale of 100%. Um, in terms of fact, Let's put it this way. Very often I, I'm asked, what is a good driver sound? What, what's a good sound? Are your drivers a good sound? I said, I haven't got a clue. Well, I don't. Honestly, I don't. I was asked it yesterday by Alan Zircon. He asked me. Well, he didn't ask me. I told him. I have no idea if this makes a good sound. I believe it does because people buy them and they tell me they're very happy with them. But I can't say for definite. What I can say, as an engineer, is it has, a re it has a resonance frequency of X and it will run from that frequency there to that frequency there, given X amount of power, and it will produce X amount of SPL or Y amount of SPL if you stick it in a certain size box. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I have no idea there's no specification for good sound. I, I sometimes get emails saying, uh, your I, you know, mm. I've understood your drivers are really good, can you tell me all about them? And I'm, if I'm not feeling too well, and the person that's asking me is asking me in such a way that, shall we say, it's not very friendly, I'll often write back and say, please give me your specification for, quote, Good sound, unquote. I'll go, un, uh, good sound, unquote. And if you're prepared to take, buy a couple of hundred drivers from me, I, I, I'll make it for you. And I'm not really, I'm, and they think I'm being funny. I'm not. Like an engineer, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm the, 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 I was with Lu Yi Ping, who's a great mate of mine, who, who makes the front surround, makes the edges. And Liu Yiping's from Taiwan, bloody good engineer. If you want a front surround or a, an edge for a speaker driver or a neoprene seal for something, you were talking about heads earlier, mm -hmm. Liu Yiping is brilliant. Jack, we call him. And if you meet Jack, he's a typical factory guy, you know, he's, got, he's a bit like me, looking a bit angered, and he's puffing away on his plays number sixes or wherever he's smoking, and you walk into the office full, full of smoke, and lung cancer, no problem. And, um, you know, 
we we were we were we were at this show in uh, not show we were at this uh, symposium uh, 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 in um, Guangzhou, which is a huge city just north of Hong Kong, and it was on about um, electromotion and transducers, and there's this this fellow from one of the universities was talking about some problem it got. Uh, and so uh, to do to do with mechanical motion. So leaping, we he says, oh, you know, we got to. We happened to be by whiteboard. And so we, we Lee Ping showed him a couple of and me showed him a couple of equations on how to solve his problem. I said, bloody hell! I said, you know, well, bloody hell, guys, that's brilliant. Isn't it? And why, 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 why didn't you tell us about this? Why, why, why? And, and Lee Ping looked at me and I looked at him and said, and we turned to the flexors. Because we're the back boy, backroom boys, and nobody ever bloody asks us. It's true, nobody ever bloody asks us. In fact, they've only let me out of the box these last couple of years <laughs> to come and talk to you guys. Because you know I've been too busy stuck stuck in the factory making drivers. I like this coming to meet you guys and actually talking about this stuff. Finally, I get let out of my box. You know, it's like letting a dog off the lead, isn't it? So we're coming to fact rumor and myth, and I'll leave you with this. When you move on to Scotland, uh, 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 you move on and Scott talk about boxes and Stefan about making boxes and so on. Um, my advice to anybody, whether you've built boxes before, you're going to build boxes or get involved in sound, is keep it simple, which Scott will talk about. A four inch driver helps you do that because you don't have to worry about a crossover, you don't have to worry about blending tweeters and all sorts of drivers. If you just want to kick off and make your own nice little box of sound, a four inch driver makes your life easy. So keep it simple. And when you go on the internet, as we all do, work on the on the ten the well, let's say 20 year, I'll call it the 2080 principle. You're going to find 20% of genuinely decent, helpful facts that will help you build your project. Unfortunately, you're going to end up with 8% of BS in the form of all sorts of rumour and myth and goodness knows what on various forums. Not because it's bad, but it's because that people like to chat in all sorts of ways and expand their thinking. But if they, if they've never really have a, you know, if they're grounding in engineering or in DIY or home building, whatever it is, is from coming from the, the organic ground up perspective. It's very easy to get sidetracked into all sorts of theories about how sound is produced. And the reality is this. We don't exactly know yet to a precise microscopic detail the exact complete science of how a transducer works. Absolutely maddening. So, you know, it is amazing. We, we've got 20% fact in almost every part of our lives, wherever we're interacting. It's a, it's, a, it's a very strange situation the human race is in. We do have fantastic technology, but the way we apply it, the way we're still learning to apply it, we're still back in the 17th century. <laughs> you know, we're... It's a very weird thing. So when it comes to speakers, my, my parting gift to you is this. Um, all it is, is a cone and a coil. It's gonna move backwards and forwards. It's gonna move forwards, select reverse gear when the current alternates. Go back. Then it's going to stop as the current alternates. Back again, selects forward gear and goes forward. That's your oscillation, that's your low frequency. And you kind of have a look at interesting things like um, if you suddenly decide you want to build a two-way system, you think, oh, yeah, I remember that. Mark, Mark and Jason were at moving mass, weren't they? 
So you see driver, six and a half inch base driver on an advertised at X. Hopefully Stefan's selling it. <laughs> Bless him. And you think, oh, Christ, that moving mass. It's 22 grams. And bloody hell, you know. So that immediately tells you that that driver is for those people who want to blow their eardrums apart. Okay? Volume and, you know, and that, that's obviously going to be a driver that's designed for handling a huge amount of power. And in terms of musical fidelity, forget it. In fact, we have a name for them in, 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 the, in the loudspeaker engine. We don't call them drivers. We call them AGs, atmosphere generators. Yeah, if you come to me and you go to like Gui Sound, and my, my, can, my put on while well, my Mandarin is crap, but if it's in Cantonese, I'm better. And um, we will call them in Chinese, um, well, can't remember the translation. We'll call them AGs, atmosphere generators, not subwoofers. Because they don't generate a real sound. It's just a whacking great big load of air they're shifting. So then you think, oh, no, 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 I'm into, you know, I like to play music. I'm not into blowing my, ear, my eardrums apart at 100 decibels. So that immediately tells you, don't buy that driver. Mm -hmm. For your bass sound, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to make a full range setup, if you want to make a, you know, you've got a big amplifier and you want to make a, you want to make a two-way setup, and you want to use a six-inch drive. That's a four-inch, uh, six-inch, something around that size. But look for something around about twelve grams, fifteen grams. That will tell you that that driver has a relatively light cone. It's not the lightest, but it's, you know, it, will, it won't be too bad. If you want to have, if you want to go for finesse and you want to hear detail in your music, you want to hear, you might be interested in vocals uh, and you want to hear, you've got some good recordings and your amp's pretty good. Oh, you're into the telephonic band, that magic 200 to 4 kilohertz, you know, Peggy Lee, whatever it is, um, whatever, whatever vocalist you like. Do your best to find a low mass driver combination, okay? And um, you don't need a whacking great amplifier for that. Just keep your volumes down and have a nice box and enjoy the moment with your glass of Chardonnay, you know. And there's so, so these are facts that people <coughs> don't tell you, you know, you know, speaker driver manufacturers will, will, will rattle on about power handling goodness knows what. It comes back to what we said.